Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves that are all on this journey to love. And so this is the second message for today. And I share messages that come through from, it's all of our higher selves and people that come to me for healings, readings, and channeled letters. And there have been two numbers that have been following me around and just incessantly over the last, I don't know how long, Anyway, the numbers are 17 and also 77, and amongst other numbers, but just these two have just, so I know that I need to read letters number 17 and 77 from the Divine Love Letter books that I do. And I actually know that what the lady's letter who's 17, one of them is a lady that's come to me for another letter. And uh, I, I'm going to do that today. And so I know that that's why it's just been constant, bombarded with 17. So, um, as I came to do this message, though, I pulled a card, again, from the Animal Spirit deck, because I'm a bit obsessed with it at the moment. And it is the Wombat Spirit, which is so, again, it just made me want to cry, because it is all about being at home at home on your spiritual journey, feeling at home in your heart, feeling at home and trusting where you are exactly where you need to be for your journey. You know, don't put yourself under any pressure. Don't compare yourself to anyone else. You and your twin are exactly, exactly where you need to be. And put yourself, you see the little wombat is put in this big round disc of green. And you can ask for Archangel Raphael to, you know, he's the healing green ray. And if you feel, you know, that you need to have some help, Archangel, Archangel Raphael will help you. You know, the little wombat here, he's surrounded by this big green dome. That's what you can do for you and your twin to make you feel at home on your journey. You know, there's nothing worse than when you feel like, you know, that you're not that you're not doing enough and again I think it's something that is very um, common on this path is to think not doing it doing enough and you kind of like second guess yourself put yourself down because you know you think you're not doing enough basically and the truth is you are always enough and you just need to reach out for help and so that's the message today the message is very much about if you're feeling down then reach out for help Put yourself into that green bubble with your twin. Realise that you're on your green bubble coming home to each other. Ask Archangel Raphael. He's been very prominent recently wanting to help, wanting to help heal. So, I'm going to read letters 17 and 77. Because they have just been in, to the point that I'm like, all right, all right, I will do it. So, um, here we go. Letter 17. That everything that she has an inkling about, she should believe. She knows the truth. You know the truth about us, about me, about our time and our path together. You need to trust that what you feel is right, even though it doesn't make any sense to your logical brain how you know that. But that's the thing. That's the greatest lesson of all. That love defies all logic. There is no explaining it. There is no judgment in it. There is no pain in love. When you really focus on the love and not the fact that we're not together in our bodies, when you focus on your heart and the fact that we have always been together, saving each other and guiding each other to the light, always, always there, right by each other's side, in times of need, in times of joy, in times of sadness, across all time, space and realities, we are one. Okay, so, quite peaceful, because you have to really, you know, that thing about you're not crazy, you are not crazy, it is real. So letter 77, my love, my sweetest dear lady, I have wanted to be able to tell you how much I have felt your love for such a long time, but have never been at the mercy of myself to tell you. I am my own worst enemy. I have let fear rule my life. Always going for the safe option, 
not the option that really ignites my fire and challenges and awakens my soul. That is what you did for me, we do for each other. But the time is coming that I no longer can just play it safe. I don't want to live an unfulfilled life. I want to feel the challenge and the bliss of what true love feels like. I want to really feel desire and have someone, you, desire me. I want to experience true passion and the real meaning of heartfelt love. I don't want a mediocre life anymore. I want to really live. I love you and I'm going to come to you. Okay. So that was book one. And then book two is this, 17. I simply adore you in the simplest way, the truest way, the most honest and wholesome way. Basically, with all of me, I love all of you. It's been a hole in my heart that I've been looking to fill and I know that my search is over. I know that soon our time will come to fill each other's holes the holes in our hearts where each other's key fits. We hold the key, the sacred key for one another. That's why we felt like there's something missing, that we've always been on the edge of our life beginning. It's because we give each other the key to complete our life mission. We unlock each other's souls. <laughs> Okay, uh, the reason why I'm just laughing is because I just uh, had to go because I needed to sew something. And in the drawer that I just looked in, there was a key just there. So, just kind of lovely. Okay, so 77 is this. 77 from book two. That my heart is yearning for us to come together again in a beautiful, passionate embrace. All of our bodies connecting from the touch of our foreheads together to the interlinking of our fingers in between each other and the feeling of our beating hearts in unison as we lie wrapped in each other. Oh, how I long for that. How I long for the days and nights where we share all our intimate moments, our secrets, our passions, our lifelong dreams that we had when we were young that we can still do together. There is so much that we have to make up for we will live in loving bliss together. Okay. So we will live in loving bliss together. And then finally, letter 17 from book three. Feel me holding your hand, walking you through this windy path that leads us back to our love. Trust that I am here for you. Trust that what you feel is true. Know that you're not going crazy. I did and do feel the same as you. All of those feelings of true love, overwhelmingly indescribable, uncontrollable feelings, like rushes of adrenaline shooting through our bodies, a sense of coming home. And then overwhelming terror to think we'd never see each other again. All of that we both felt. But now the beautiful thing is, we never need to feel that feeling of fear and terror and desperation of not seeing each other again because we will be with one another for eternity. We are eternally entwined by the heart and soul. And notice it said about coming home. What was the card that I pulled? Be at home with your love. Okay, so last one, letter 77 is, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being such a jerk and behaving like a complete idiot. I let myself get taken over by fears and then I just panic and think, I need to get away from this intense feeling that you stir up in me. I know it's not fair to take it out on you. It's just that I have no idea where it comes from. It just grips me. And then I have to go on my own and spend some time just trying to work out what the hell is going on with me. None of this should be taken out on you. I'm so sorry. It's like it's not me. I just want to be able to be me, to feel at peace with loving you. Okay, well, 
doesn't that make your heart melt a little bit to say i just want to be at peace look it's so like the little the little wombat's face is like oh i just want to be at peace in being able to love you and to just you know let everything else just go i just want to be healed i just want to be with you i just want to be in our little bubble together and let the world just fall away around us you know i just want to escape into your love so that is the definitely the feeling that i'm getting today um so as i've been saying about this chicken soup for the soul book um so 100 tf stories telling your tf story um, if you want to be involved, then please do send me an email to divinelovecrystalgrid at gmail.com and um, put chicken soup into the description box. Really important to do that because then I can filter who uh, buy chicken soup in the subject and then I can see everyone that wants to be involved. Um, and it is all about... I, it is all, it's truly all about um, believing, right? Really believing in your journey and being able to tell your truth, you know? And it is, it will be all anonymous or you can, you know, put whatever you want. Um, it's up to you. You can go via names that you choose. Obviously, everything on my channel is always anonymous. Um, but especially for the book, you're, you're writing the story in your own words and I will be compiling it. Um, so if you want to be involved, then again, please do put, send me an email, chicken soup in the, um, I'm looking for the first hundred people that contact me. Um, those first hundred people will be the ones that, um, that are selected. And there will be, you know, I'll basically, as with everything, there's an energetic match, you know, so, um, if we energetically match together and I'll get that vibe as soon as you send the email, then it'll be, yeah, cool, we're a good match for each other to work together. So, I hope that helps. And just this message about the 17 and 77, I have seen them everywhere. It has just been crazy. And so that message was about, you know, really like, oh, I want to come home. Please trust in these feelings. Please trust that it's not your crazy mind. Please trust that it is really, it's real. You know, this journey is real. So I hope that helps and I hope you have a great day. All right, take care. Bye.